name is Jennifer Lashbrook. I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I use recycled paint chips to create pixel art. So I cut my paint chips into one inch squares, and usually I use familiar imagery, things that um, resonate with people from their past experience because the pieces are kind of blurry at first. And then when you stand back at a distance or if you view them through your cell phone camera, they become shockingly clear. So I've been collecting these things for years. I have like pretty much every single company all organized out by all the different colors they have. I've even noticed like some companies in a different color run, the color will be slightly off. So I categorize those differently. So yep, they're just recycled paint chips. I go to like zero landfill events around the country. A lot of the companies themselves will ship me huge quantities of their leftover paint chips. So it means a lot that I'm kind of upcycling something that would have been thrown away. I started using paint swatches in college, but I was doing more of a realistic style. And um, after collectors started viewing my work, I thought that it would make it more clear the material if I uh, use pixels. So I kind of drew from Salvador Dali and Chuck Close's work and decided to just cut out squares from now on. So that kind of has evolved into my new style. Once I decide on what images um, I'm going to use for the project. I um, kind of grid out the image and it's all color matched by eye. So if you can see behind me, I have all of my paint swatches organized very meticulously by color and value of course is actually more important than the color itself. So I just kind of work with the image and match back and forth until I create an image that you can kind of see what it is. It's a lot of trial and error, to be honest, kind of like a puzzle, finding just the right value and right color for each piece. I use a glue where I can change out the pieces if I need to once it's finished, like if a color's sticking out that it's too dark or too light, but I kind of like them to be a little off of the original image so it kind of sparkles a little bit more with different, different colors and throw in some crazy hues in there. When choosing my subject matter, most of the time I, I am working with very iconic images, people that I look up to, that I appreciate. You know, when it comes to Frida Kahlo, she's one of my favorite artists, so I do have a lot of her images in my in my work. But I get so many ideas too from patrons at festivals. Like this would be really cool to see, and um, so my style can kind of go with any subject matter. So now I'm kind of working on more more landscapes because I've done a lot of icons in the past. So I have so many different series to work on. I feel like I'm never going to run out of ideas to create. So it's kind of a fun concept just showing, you know, what what our brain sees, what information we need. Like my work kind of involves gestalt psychology because you're as the viewer are almost adding more to it. Like once you recognize the image, you'll add details because you're familiar with the image and have seen it in the past. So it's interesting to see how different people react differently to my work. The one thing I hear most from collectors is how much of a conversation piece my work is in their home. Certain pieces go from completely non-representational to, oh my gosh, I can tell what it is. So, you know, whereas you don't need the phone to view the work, distance does it too. People are just shocked by how different it looks, close up versus afar. I've known I wanted to be an artist since I was about three years old. So I took my first uh, painting class when I was 10. It was like Bob Ross style. And then I just kind of went crazy with oil painting. Um, did AP art in high school. Um, I went to University of North Texas and I got a bachelor in fine arts degree. And then it took me a while to actually get the guts to start showing my work. So about 10 years after I graduated, I had my first um, art festival showing and just the response from the public was incredible. So after doing three shows, I decided to take the leap and quit my job and I've been uh, traveling the country coast to coast ever since. And it's been amazing. I mean, um, a few galleries have picked up my work and, you know, I've got collectors that have just got multiple pieces. So it's, it's been great.